take us through the movement on the bulls today. Are banking stocks picking up at all? Well, thank you, Finley, for having me. Um, today, we noticed that um, the banking stocks um, didn't do so well today. Um, though the banking stocks were among the major volume drivers, but um, many of the banking stocks actually closed lower than they um, closed um, on Friday for today. Um, we noticed today that there were 19 gainers today. Um, leading the charge of the gainers was um, Benue Cement Company of Nigeria and Glasgow SmithKline Nigeria PLC. Also, there were about 48 losers today. Um, we had um, Ashaka Cement and Union Bank of Nigeria leading the charge of losers for today, while the rest of the stocks were a bit flat from where they were um, on Friday. Um, today, the all-share index went down by 118 basis points to close at 21,356.50 points. Um, this is not unexpected um, for the week to start this way, but hopefully we're hoping that the market will recover going down further this week. Why is Benu Cement doing well, but Ashaka Cement is not? Uh, it's on the list of the losers. Sorry, come again, Finley. Why is Ashaka Cement not doing well compared to Benu Cement? Well, um, if you look at um, those two companies, you will notice that um, in recent time, Ashaka Cement, um, the price had been such that uh, if you look at the value that has been in the price as compared with Benue Cement, then you would see why investors would want to invest in one company rather than the other, how be it where the two of them are in the same sector. Because it's not just about being in the same sector, but it's about the value that is in each of those stocks. And if I see that as an investor, that a Shaka Cement has the potential to regain my investment in a shorter period, then you will see me investing in a Shaka Cement as against Benue Cement and vice versa. So we do not think that it's something to do with the um, industry that they belong to, but it's about the value and the price of those stocks. Let's talk about Unilever Nigeria. We're seeing a 75% increase in profit. Is the company doing well purely because it has such diversified goods? Well, um, for Unilever, um, they've become more like a conglomerate um, in the uh, sector that they deal with in terms of manufacturing and distribution of um, family and healthcare products. Um, Yes, you could say that they have diversified, but you must realize that uh, for Unilever, many of their brands are the leaders in the sectors or among the product segments in which they operate. They have brands like Omo, they have brands like Lux, they have brands like the Pears, Baby Range, and these brands are good brands in the segments where they play. Um, those numbers seem a bit aggressive in the light of the market, but we do not lose fact of the sense that we are going into the final quarter of the year. This will be the quarter that uh, most um, companies in their industry do well in terms of the returns that is expected. And comparing this with what they did in 2008, where they achieved a 100% increase in their bottom line, we think that these numbers, though looking fairly aggressive, might be achievable by Unilever. All right, and just before we go, give us a, a look at what the market trend will be like this week. Well, for this week, we expect the market to continue in the way it started. We expect that as um, prices continue to go down, value investors will see the need to come back to the market and invest. We do not expect the market to close this week um, um, lower than it did last week. We expect, if anything, that... Um, value investors will see that there is value in the market because really the PE ratios that we have right now in the market are comparable to what you will get in any market around the world.